I'll give you two minutes, Don, to respond. Thank you, brother. Excellent debate. So I think Eric and Tony are missing the bigger picture here. What Matt was saying, and Matt could possibly reiterate in the concluding statement, is many evolutionists said once we discovered DNA and genetics, Darwin knew nothing about DNA, knew nothing about genetics. They said, okay, we should not expect to find such strong hierarchical signatures or strong homologous signatures in DNA because according to the neutral model of evolution, you have mutations accumulating every single generation and they accumulate and act ultimately as a hidden reservoir of genetic change and adaptive evolution. So those mutations that accumulate over time should actually what? Scramble those genetic hierarchies, scramble those homologous signatures. The fact that we have such strong patterns in the biological world points better to a common design perspective than the evolutionary model, okay? To uh, PhD Tony's question, we do. We find a lot of variation in the biological world. God has designed interesting mosaics like the synapses, like platypus, like archaeopteryx. Just like human engineers design in hierarchical patterns and homologous patterns, this is good design, purpose-driven mosaics like we see in the design world. The military has designed the military amphibious assault vehicle. This is all good design. It's an alternative explanation which means it's not differentiating. It's not discriminatory, which is what Tony and Eric need to uh, provide tonight. And I, I believe that they failed to do so.